Guess what we did to my parents' kitchen? While we were building our dream home, we lived with my parents for two and a half years and during that time, they let us use their kitchen to film all of our recipe videos, we did our food photography here, and to thank them, we are so excited to give them a full kitchen makeover. Just so you can see how much we're changing, I'm gonna show you the before. Come here, mom. <laughs> are you excited? Of course I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. My parents' home was built in 1993, so it still had all of its original cabinets and countertops. It was definitely due for an upgrade. Every Sunday we gather at my parents' house and there is always so much action in the kitchen. We are so excited to finally get it remodeled for them. The process was months in the making. We started with picking appliances and I could tell that's where mom got the most excited. Then there were several rounds of design appointments to pick cabinets and colors. The kitchen demo is underway and this is the exact counter where we filmed for two and a half years while we lived with my parents. But now it's already looking so different. All the cabinets are gutted. They're about to take all these cabinets out of here and I cannot wait for this transformation. My parents were smart. They set up this cute little temporary kitchen, <laughs> kitchen table here in the garage and they've got their fridge, their microwave, what more can you need? And even a stove. And look at what mom made. Chicken fettuccine alfredo. That looks so good. All right, dad, are you excited about your new kitchen? I'm excited to eat in the garage. How about you, mom, are you excited? Super, super. <laughs> Is that all you got? The biggest transformations came with demolishing the old pantries and the overhanging shelves above the cabinets. Once those were out, it opened up the space a ton and we had a blank canvas to build this dream kitchen. We've gotten through the demo and we've made some progress. Let's take a look. <laughs> All right, so the kitchen has been completely overhauled. We're at the stage where we've done electrical rough-in, we've got drywall on the walls, and now they're just adding mud to smooth things out. The kitchen already feels bigger because we got rid of stuff, got rid of the overhangs, which really dated the kitchen, and we got rid of the two pantries that were over here. So look at how much this opened up the space. Move this wall back a little bit to give it just a bigger entrance. It's gonna be amazing. Today is the day the paint goes on the walls. Also with the demo, we ended up with a lot of gaps in the flooring, so the flooring went in next. Thankfully, they were able to get the same flooring installer that did the rest of their house to match. The cabinets just arrived and all they need is to be put up and then stained. I cannot wait. They're gonna be so beautiful. We decided on select alder wood for the kitchen cabinets and a two-tone, meaning the outside cabinets are one color and the island is another. Seeing the cabinets come in is what really started to give this kitchen shape. The cabinets were installed and stained on site. Meanwhile, mom and I picked the perfect hardware for the cabinets. That's the one. You like it? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I wanted my parents to have a say in every step of the process since it was their dream kitchen. The countertops are going in in the kitchen and it is gorgeous. Look at the veining on this. It's like subtle, but really pretty. It has a little bit of gold in there. Oh, it's so lovely. And mom loves it too. We're so blessed to have my husband's brother who owns Rockham Granite install all of the countertops. They do such an amazing job from templating to install. My favorite was watching the island go on. I bet this slab weighs more than 600 pounds, but they made it look so easy with the right tools. Thank you. 
After the countertops were installed, it was time to finish the floor. First they sanded the floor, then they sealed it, and it looked stunning. It is the last step of the process. After today, mom can probably wipe down the counters and start stocking her kitchen. They're putting in the appliances and finishing up the baseboards on the cabinets and we're done. <laughs> These appliances are like 10X what they had before. Mom is gonna love everything so much. <laughs> Can't wait to have this in the house. Currently getting the fridge through the door. This last step was like jewelry for the kitchen. We had the appliances professionally installed and mom didn't lose any time showing off that new microwave to the family. The very last step was to pull back the protective cover on those gorgeous countertops. <laughs> After months of planning, designing, demo, and a complete kitchen overhaul. My parents' kitchen remodel is finally done. Are you guys so happy? Yeah. <laughs> they don't have to live in their garage anymore. Yay. <laughs> and it turned out better than we could have imagined. It is gorgeous. Mom, I'm so happy for you. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Mom gets her dream kitchen, dream stove. Let me show you all the details. Let's go. We'll start with this wall. Now this wall took a massive overhaul. If you remember, there were just the two pantries with the white doors, and then we had the oven here in the center. So by removing those pantries, we opened up the kitchen. It gave us so much more space, and we added the countertop, built-in pantries over here, and this was the perfect spot for the refrigerator. Another major upgrade was this island. As you can see, it is huge. It's almost three times the size of what it was and way more functional because we used to have a stove top here which really cut into the space. So this is gonna be amazing for family get-togethers. We can make a huge buffet here. There's also seating on the other side of the island which is perfect for my mom and dad when they have breakfast and lunch together. And there's lots of storage. Let me show you the cabinets. The kitchen has so much great storage. And some deep drawers all over the other side. All with soft clothes. The pantry setup is so neat and functional. Check this out. Remember we used to have a big peninsula right here and that's where we used to do filming while we lived in their house. That is gone, it really opened up the space even more. On this side, remember there was that big overhang on top of the cabinets. We removed that completely, brought the cabinets up to the ceiling and it just feels so much more open now. We've got this big open space with a wonderful view outside, just the most perfect kitchen window and then we kept the sink where it was because of course you want to look outside while you're doing the dishes. <laughs> we did put in a farmer sink or farm style farmhouse whatever you call it sink. It's actually the exact same sink that we have in our house because we loved it so much we wanted them to have the same. It's just stunning and so big. Her sink used to have this divider between it, so it wasn't super functional. When there's a lot of people in the house, there's also a lot of dishes, so I think mom's gonna totally love this. We also did some fun extras with the cabinetry, such as the garbage pullouts, and these are so functional. I love having these in our own kitchen, because they used to just have a trash can on the side of the countertops. And then shelving like this, where she could store her baking sheets. There's another one just like that over here. This is cool. It's a Lazy Susan, very functional, very cool looking. And I love that you can use the space all the way to the back because it comes out. He's got his little light in there for effect. <laughs> And of course the top one does the same. Again, lots of cabinets, lots of storage. And then we get to the stove. Mom's stove definitely got an upgrade. Mom, is this your favorite part of the kitchen? Yep, it's my computer. <laughs> it's her computer, that's what she calls it. <laughs> We've got six burners here and it's an extra deep oven. Show them, Mom. 
Ta-da! Beautiful. Think of all the casseroles and roasted potatoes we'll be making in here. Oh, it's gonna be good. And also her last stove didn't have proper venting because it was on the island and the vent was broken. So this has a beautiful vent system right here under this gorgeous hood. It's just so dreamy. I'm so happy for you, mom. We also ended up with a much wider entrance into the kitchen, making it more homey and welcoming and inviting. And same thing on this side, instead of ending it with a wall, we're ending it with a countertop. So it just really opened up the space. One of the dreamiest things about this whole kitchen remodel are the countertops. We picked a quartz. This is similar to the one in our house, but it has a little bit more gold accents. I love the veining. My brother-in-law picked this for us and he did an amazing job with the install. I love, I love, love, love how he made the quartz travel up the wall matching the veining. He did a phenomenal job. Probably the hardest part of the whole kitchen is putting this quartz up the wall around the window. It looks so good and it's so functional to do it this way because it makes it easy to clean and it just looks so pretty, so open. Like the kitchen doesn't end. It just keeps flowing up the wall. Let me show you the rest of the appliances. We spent a lot of time at the appliance store picking these with my parents and we landed on what I think were the best ones for them that they had. These are so good. Check out the microwave. Okay, dad, show them your cool new microwave. Check it out. Right there. Now we're not gonna fight with mama. You can put two plates. Nice. <laughs> And now the fridge. This is probably the most used appliance in the kitchen. They used to have a side-by-side -side where it was like the freezer column and the fridge column. This one has so much more space the way it's set up. And this one is pretty cool because it not only has the water filter and the ice dispenser, it also gives you hot water, which mom and dad are tea drinkers, so this is perfect. I didn't even know that existed in a fridge, did you? Va -va -voom. <laughs> Look at all that space, the depth that they have here and cool little features like adjustable shelves. Come on. How do you do that? They'll figure it out. <laughs> anyway, lots of cool drawers. This is going to be a very well-loved refrigerator. And of course, the freezer down below with some storage on this side and then freezer drawers here. Perfect for grab and go stuff like all the ice cream that the children enjoy here. Mom and dad, I'm so happy for you guys. I hope you totally love your kitchen. I can't wait to come over on Sunday to have a lunch here <laughs> in your new kitchen. And I know mom and dad can't wait to get their uh, rooster and chicken up on the shelf. They're just quietly waiting over there. <laughs> She's gonna put them up on the shelves because she can't not have things on the shelves, right mom? <laughs> anyway, it's time for you to start filling up your shelves, filling up your refrigerator, and enjoy your new kitchen. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I hope this kitchen remodel inspired you. If you guys want more kitchen inspiration, check out our dream kitchen tour, which I will link to. And let me know where you guys spotted Sharky in the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next episode of Natasha's Kitchen. What is the shark? Cut, cut. Mom and dad need to go use their kitchen. This is our... Chickens? <laughs> <sighs>